are also tasked, yeah, in fairness. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift attended 13 Chiefs games last season. <laughs> this, you I told me to be bold. Cowboys are going to miss the playoffs for the first time since 2020. Season, she will attend more games than Aaron Rodgers will play. Whoa. Tay-Tay more than Aaron Rodgers plays. There is mm -hmm. no way. All right. First up, not all smooth sailing for Tavis Town, as insecurity is creeping in the cracks created by the distance between Taylor and Travis. The lovebirds seem genuinely concerned. It seems the cruel summer term is falling well into place for Tavis as they navigate truly rough and tough waters in their time apart. Then we have ESPN's Nicole Briscoe, who is making a rather bold prediction about Taylor's upcoming attendance at Kelsey's NFL games. Next, we're diving right into the crazy engagement gossip and rumors surrounding the couple of late. However, this time we have an official statement from Travis Kelsey's football rep. This will sure be spicy. On the downside of things, we also have the full scoop on Taylor being blocked by protesters outside of her show in Warsaw. Shucks! On the other side of the pond, Jason Kelsey is making waves with his speculated stint on the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. For all this crazy gossip and more, let's jump right in. Cruel Summer It looks like it's shaping up to be a bit of a cruel summer for pop queen Taylor Swift and her NFL beau Travis Kelsey. Literally! Sources have spilled that the lovebirds are having a meltdown over their upcoming separation. With Taylor still riding the European leg of her Eras Tour until August 20th, and Travis diving into NFL preseason and the regular season, they're bracing for some serious time apart. While Taylor's touring schedule takes her across the globe, Travis will be neck deep in football, which means romance might have to take a back seat. A source shared, they become so codependent that even a few weeks apart feels like a nightmare for them. Taylor's extra jittery about the split, mainly because of her old fears about other women sniffing around Travis. Taylor trusts Travis and he's given her no reason to worry, said the insider, but he's a guy and she's had her fair share of heartbreak before. Taylor's list of famous exes include Joe Jonas, John Mayer, Jake Gyllenhaal, Harry Styles, Calvin Harris, Tom Hiddleston, and Joe Alwyn, so her concerns aren't entirely unfounded. Meanwhile, Travis is also feeling the pressure and doesn't like the idea of being away from her, or her surrounded by countless male energy. Sure must be threatening. On top of that, they're apparently shelling out over $100,000 a day to keep their relationship on fire. According to our source, they're living the high life, private jets, luxury hotels, and crazy romantic gestures. Travis once sent Taylor 11 bouquets in a single day and spent more than $2,000 on flowers. On Valentine's Day, he dropped about $16,000. And let's not forget the wedding rumors. Taylor teased fans with a mashup of paper rings and stay, stay, stay during her July 19 concert in Germany, hinting at some serious wedding vibes. An insider revealed... Taylor and Travis are looking to drop at least $1 million on their wedding, maybe more. She's even considering holding it at her Rhode Island estate and making it the ultimate VIP affair. They're both over the moon about each other and want to throw the most epic celebration of their love. So buckle up, this romance is turning into quite the spectacle. ESPN Prediction for Taylor Swift ESPN's Nicole Briscoe just dropped a wild prediction about the NFL season, and it's got everyone buzzing. On the August 1st episode of SportsCenter, Briscoe threw out a bold claim. Taylor Swift attended 13 Chiefs games last season. This year, she'll be at more games than Aaron Rodgers will play. Her co-hosts Ryan Clark and Matt Berry were left speechless, calling her take crazy and doubting that Swift would outdo the New York Jets quarterback in game attendance. You told me to be bold, Briscoe shot back, defending her spicy take. The whole point was to say something outrageous, and I'm the only one who actually went for it. Also tasked, yeah, in fairness, yeah. uh, Taylor Swift attended 13 Chiefs games last season. <laughs> this, you I told me prediction. to be bold. Cowboys are going to miss the playoffs for the first time since 2020. Season, she will attend more games than Aaron Rodgers will play. Whoa. Tay-Tay more than Aaron Rodgers plays. There is mm -hmm. no way. All right. Clark was curious about the bold part. Which part is bold? The idea that a relationship getting more serious means they'll show up for each other even more? Briscoe quipped, no, it's the Aaron Rodgers part, which got a good laugh from the studio. Rodgers did have a rough go last season, suffering a season-ending ankle injury on his first play with the Jets in September 2023. Despite the setback, he's expected to be back on the field when the Jets face the San Francisco 49ers on September 9th. Rodgers had shared his emotional thanks on Instagram, expressing his heartbreak and appreciation for the support while he recovers. After surgery and a tough recovery, Rodgers is pumped for the new season, 
On the Pat McAfee Show in December 2023, he talked about a renewed passion for the game and his positive experience with the Jets. Rodgers did have a hiccup earlier this year, missing a mandatory minicamp practice without a solid excuse. Jets head coach Robert Saleh mentioned that although it was unexcused, Rodgers had an important event and communication was good. Meanwhile, Taylor Swift was a major NFL fan last season, showing up to cheer on her boyfriend Travis at various Kansas City Chiefs games. She even flew from a Tokyo Eras Tour show to Las Vegas to catch the Chiefs win the Super Bowl in February. With her Eras Tour wrapping up in December, Swift's got some temper off, so she might just hit up the Chiefs season opener against the Baltimore Ravens. Looks like Swift and Kelsey are set to keep their game day traditions going strong. Which part of it is bold? That's the that, Aaron that, Rodgers. I have a question. What part of it is bold? The whole concept of this was to say something bold. And the only one who actually went bold was me. The oh. fact that a relationship that is now in its second year will only intensify in the way that they support one another. <laughs> like, which part? one is it? Is that one? <laughs> yeah, like, it's right. bold. No, it's the Aaron Rodgers part. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, is that Aaron Rodgers is going to get hurt. You went less on the Taylor Swift, more on the Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Fact. Okay. Yes. some Hall of Fame. I'll take yes. that one. Engagement soon. Looks like things are heating up between Taylor and Travis. A source told Page Six that the engagement is happening soon, but Kelsey's rep quickly shot down those rumors, saying there aren't any official engagement plans just yet. Still, the buzz won't die down. Page Six reports that during a Morgan Wallen concert in Kansas City, the wife of a Topps chief executive was overheard saying that Kelsey and Swift might already be engaged. Whether it's a scoop or just online chatter is anyone's guess. Back in December, there were whispers that Kelsey was on the hunt for the perfect ring, and had even asked Taylor's dad, Scott, for his blessing. Scott has given his blessing, and Travis has been talking about a ring, an insider said at the time. Swift has been globetrotting with her Eras tour since 2023, while Kelsey has been a regular at her shows and even joined her on stage once. As Taylor takes a short break from touring in August, the source reveals that Taylor is going to be spending a lot of time in Kansas City. Her tour picks back up in October and wraps up on December 8th in Vancouver. Meanwhile, Kelsey is busy prepping for the NFL season with the Chiefs. He's even rocking a pretty epic dad mustache at training camp these days. With a look like that, who knows? Maybe the NFL star has more than just marriage on his mind and is already thinking about starting a family. Protesters block Taylor Swift Protesters caused quite a stir outside Taylor Swift's show in Warsaw, trying to block her entry into the stadium by gluing themselves to the ground. According to local reports, the activists were focused on Taylor's use of private jets, arguing that the world's wealthiest 1%, including billionaires like Taylor, contribute as much CO2 emissions as the poorest two-thirds of humanity, around 5 billion people. The local law enforcement reported that around 10 a.m. that day, five protesters wearing orange vests glued themselves to the road at Brahma 7, a key entrance Taylor used to get into the national stadium. They even carried a banner that read, We can't afford the super rich in Polish and sprinkled orange powder around the area. Luckily, they were safely removed without incident. This isn't the first time Warsaw has seen climate change protests. The city has been a hotspot for demonstrations over the past year, with recent blockages on major streets and bridges. Taylor herself has faced criticism before over her jet use, especially from Jack Sweeney, who tracked her private jet's movements. A legal letter from Taylor's team accused Sweeney of using his tracking for personal gain, stating that while it might seem like a game to him, it's a serious safety issue for Taylor. Sweeney has claimed his intentions were not harmful, but rather about transparency and suggested ways for Taylor to keep her travel private. Jason on Dancing with the Stars Jason Kelsey is reportedly toying with the idea of joining Dancing with the Stars for its 33rd season. The former NFL star, who hung up his cleats earlier this year after 13 seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles, is apparently considering the offer and might decide within the next few weeks. Jason, who's been busy co-hosting the hit podcast New Heights with his brother Travis and working as a TV analyst on ESPN, could soon add Dancer to his resume. The 36-year-old is seemingly intrigued by the chance to show off his dance moves on the reality show. The full cast for season 33 is set to be announced by the end of the month, and it looks like Jason might make his decision before then. Dancing with the Stars kicks off on September 17 in Los Angeles, which is right after the start of the 2024 NFL season. Jenna Johnson, one of the show's pro dancers, has already thrown her support behind having both Jason and his wife Kylie on the show. He just retired. It's the perfect thing. If his wife wants to do it with Johnson's husband Val, we could make that happen, she said. 
That, it used to be before all these rules were put in place yeah. to make the play safer. It used to be somewhere around 50%. It, typically on the on the kickoff, they used to be old linemen on the wedge because they were yeah. closer to the mm -hmm. returner. I mean, they might find a way to use one, especially on a trap block or something like that. That could get dangerous. Not Chiefs new star. Oh, the things AI can do. Imagine Taylor Swift not just sitting in the stands cheering on her beau Travis, but actually on the field catching passes from Patrick Mahomes. Well, thanks to a wildly viral AI video, that's exactly what's happening in the digital realm. The internet is buzzing with this sensational clip of Swift catching a touchdown pass and running it into the end zone, all with Mahomes' stamp of approval. In this laugh out loud video, AI has masterfully swapped Kelsey for Swift, showing her high stepping into the end zone like a pro. The broadcast audio even shouts her name as she scores with the announcer screaming, Taylor's gonna finish it. This hilarious yet oddly captivating simulation has racked up over 2 million views on X. While a few grumpy NFL fans grumbled about the pop queen invading their sacred turf, the majority couldn't get enough of this delightful mashup. One popular comment summed it up perfectly, Taylor's got that dog in her. <laughs> now for the real tea, when Taylor's coming back to a Chiefs game. Insiders hint that after a long separation, the Tavis reunion is just around the corner, coinciding perfectly with the NFL season start. Swift's era's tour has kept her busy, but she's expected to be back cheering for her number 87 at the season opener against the Baltimore Ravens on September 5th. And word has it, there's some fresh personal decor waiting for her in Kelsey Suite at Arrowhead Stadium. With her presence seemingly bringing good luck to Kansas City last season, fans are already dreaming of more Swift touchdowns, and who knows? Maybe the next viral video will be reality.